Alright, what's going on everybody? This is my uh, All Great Fairy Fountain Locations video and more importantly my armor enhancement video guide and some tips along with that. It's going to be um, hopefully not too long but it's going to be jam-packed with a bunch of information that um, I was questioning myself about a week ago and I found the answer to all my questions so I thought I'd share it if anyone is in the same boat as I was about a week ago because I was clueless about armor I didn't know how it worked at all or what was going on so to start off I'm gonna give what the heck I thought I had all the fairies um, I'm gonna give uh, you all the great fountain great fairy fountain locations so right now one is right here right next to Tari town um, Tari town is right here in the middle of this lake here and the fairy fountains right here. I have all the fairy fountains labeled with a diamond stamp. Another location for the fairy fountains is right here. This is probably the first one you will come across. Uh, actually, it is definitely the first one you'll come across in early game. Right next to Kakariko Village. You can go to this shrine. It's in this little forest right here. Right next to Kakariko Village. And the other one that I found after this is next to Tabantha Tower. You can just jump, you can see it from the tower, you can just jump down right here, it's uh, south of Rito Village. And the last one is in the very, very bottom left of the map, right here. There's a shrine at the very bottom left corner, and the last fairy fountain. And so now, when you're, when you're getting these fairy fountains, it costs money to open them up each time. Uh, I'm going to put some, uh, I'm going to put a picture up on your screen, showing you uh, how much it costs, so to to unlock the first um, fountain that you find, it will always be 100 rupees. The second one you find will be 500. The third one you find will be 1,000. And the last one you find will be 10,000 to open it up. Once you put all that money into getting all four fountains, you have all four of them unlocked. Then you can upgrade your armor fully um, using any fountain. So the fountain that I use is the one near Tari Town, simply because I fly around Tari Town to go pick up some arrows there and stuff like that since the old arrow glitch doesn't really work anymore uh, just go I just go here because I like it the most it's my favorite um, fountain right here now that's it with the fountains we're gonna talk about the enhancements now uh, first things first we're gonna start off with um, how everything works uh, with armor so all these numbers on the bottom right corner of your armor that is your defense for that armor that piece of armor Every piece of armor can be upgraded four times, so you have four stars. And each time it requires different materials to enhance it. And once, I, like, one, like I said, once you have four fairy fountains, you can enhance every one fully. Um, and then you, need, you just need the materials to do it. So the thing at the bottom means only defense, nothing else. Like say you have the barbarian armor here. And it has the ability um, uh, attack up. After you enhance it, it does not, you don't get more attack up, you only get more defense. So total, I have 60 defense with this armor set, all of it being fully upgraded. Okay, so that's how the, um, that's what that number means and how it works. So, it doesn't enhance the ability, it just enhances the defense. Um, and you get the set bonus, like, for, uh, full sets that have a bonus on them. You will get the set bonus, like it says right there. I can't point to it on the screen, but uh, it says set bonus charge attack stamina up on the right-hand side of my screen, right under the thermometer. Um, it says, I pretty much I can charge faster. You will unlock a set bonus like that for sets like this once you have each piece of that set upgraded twice. So each piece in your set has to have two stars, and then you get that set bonus and not every set has a set bonus either now for the major part of this video i'm going to talk about um the base defense and what it all upgrades to so i'm going to put up a picture of a little um sort of chart that i made on my own of the base defense and what they all upgrade to to the max so uh any clothing item with the any clothing item with the base defense of one like the nintendo switch shirt or the Gerudo clothes, or the um, warm doublet, you cannot uh, enhance it at all. That's what I found out through the game. Uh, playing all base defense 1 cannot be enhanced. Base defense 2 will be upgraded from starting at 2 to 4 
to 6 to 9 to 16. Anything with base defense 3. And this is like with the stars. Like, you got to understand how when you have no stars, it'll be 3 for base defense 3. And then two and one star will be at five, and that's that's how this chart uh, is working out here. So it'll go from base defense of three to five to eight to twelve to twenty. Base defense four goes from four to seven to twelve to eighteen to twenty-eight. And then base defense five is only for the champion's tunic, so it goes from five to eight to fourteen to twenty-two to thirty-two. And like I said, that is only the champion's tunic. Now, keeping all this in mind. This means that the maximum amount of uh, total defense possible is 88. And that's if you have your tunic on and trousers that have 28 um, base defense and um, a head piece of headwear with 28 defense. There you go. Like amber earrings, um, soldier's greaves, and the tunic. You get the max amount of defense so far in this game, which is 88. Um, you can also use things like the... Ancient Greaves and the Ancient Helm, and your tunic to get the um, base 88 defense, and so, or not base, just like your maximum 88 of defense. In order to have a set bonus and um, a lot of defense, the maximum amount is then 84 because the Champion's Tunic is the only one that uh, goes to 32. Everything else, um, the max would be 28 for any other normal piece of clothing that has base defense 4. So, the maximum defense while keeping a set bonus is 28, but I believe, I think that this, I think that the ancient armor is the only piece of armor that um, you can get to 84 with while having a set bonus, because the, um, the soldier stuff, the soldier's uh, outfit that does go to 84 um, has no set bonus with it, or no effect at all so I think the ancient armor is the best for that uh, just like this you have your um, defense of 84 so that's that that's how all your defense works and now real quick before the video ends I'm going to give some quick tips on how to upgrade so you will have some stuff um, like the tunic and the breath of the wild armor right here uh, I didn't even fully upgrade this yet I got this like 20 minutes ago in real time uh, you will need a lot of dragon parts so I'm not gonna tell you how to get dragon parts in this video you can look up guides but they are not that hard to get and you will also need star fragments for upgrading things like um, circlets and the jewelry you'll need except for earrings the uh, amber earrings don't need any actually you can look up star fragment farming vids for that and dragon farming vids for the dragon parts and the the main hint or the main tip I have for you guys watching is to you just gotta you use please use your Sheikah sensor plus if you don't have it you gotta go to the ancient um, Akala ancient tech lab and it's like kind of early in the game that you get this I'd say like 10 to 20 hours in of gameplay you'll get here if you're kind of like going at a normal pace and you can get um your Sheikah sensor plus uh, you can upgrade your Sheikah sensor to put it so if you take a picture of something in your Hyrule compendium and you take a picture of something you can then detect it with your with your sensor here and it'll be it'll search for that and most people think that see like just like that and it'll come up on the bottom right it'll so you'll stop going for um, Stop searching for shrines and you'll search for that specific item that you need that you're going to upgrade. And look, see, it's right there. The fox is right there. And it's really not hard to find things. Like, I thought I would never, ever use this. I have almost all my stuff is upgraded. And, yeah. Um, it's really fun to do. But if once you have the Sheikah Sensor Plus, it actually becomes, like, a doable task to find the things that you need. Like, key swings and stuff like that. Yeah, overall, main message of the tips that I have for you is use your Sheikah Sensor Plus. You have to use it. It's very, like, it is extremely helpful finding enemies. You can just, you can take a picture of anything and set your sensor on it, and it really helps you out in this. So, anyway, this was a information-packed video 
Uh, it's going to take me a while to figure out how to edit this together so it makes sense. But um, in this video, we covered the base defense, uh, how to enhance, tips for enhancing, where the fairy fountains are, things like that. Uh, I hope every single question you had about armor possible was answered in this video. And if it wasn't, put it in the comments, and I'll be sure to answer it as best as I can. So I hope you enjoyed, and I hope this helped you out. See you guys next time. Peace.